the Mavic Air, a feat of engineering. But unfortunately, it's not perfect. So today I'm gonna show you the real ugly truth about enhanced Wi-Fi and why it might shape your decision whether you buy this thing, Mavic Air, or another uh, drone like the Mavic Pro. Roll the video. All right, so as you guys know, a few weeks back, I went down to Baja California to see the whales. Uh, the gray whales down there, there's a breeding ground. There's uh, these little boats that go up into the little lagoon. And right away, within a few minutes, uh, the whales just, there's hundreds of them. They come up to you and you can touch them a lot of times. You can take pictures with them. And in this case, I took both of my drones, the Mavic Air and the Mavic Pro, uh, so that I can do this right I took both of my drones because I, I always know that you know uh, launching and flying from a moving boat is a little bit tricky or can be a little bit tricky and so I thought if I lose one of these things I want to be able to still have another one and then you know still fly so this is the first day this is the Mavic Air and I have split the screen the on the right side of your screen it's the image that i'm recorded on my phone so this is through the wi-fi enhanced wi-fi that's what they call the technology that connects the drone to the monitor uh the, the controller and so that's the thing that is different about this one and the mavic pro the mavic pro uses another uh, type of frequency I think it's called uh, light so I forget what the name of it is but I think it's different frequency it's probably like 900 megahertz or something so that it's a much more secure connection it goes farther it goes up to like almost five miles I think on test this one is supposed to be three so here is here's the first uh, thing that happened while I am recording for some reason on my phone it stopped recording now i do remember not losing the signal on my controller so that means the signal from the uh from the yeah little drone was reaching my phone and as a result i was able to control it i was able to do the whole thing and the file the left side of the screen here you're watching what actually recorded to the sd card right and so that's the high resolution 4k image that got recorded but on the right you see the black screen is because that file is missing from my phone now i don't know why that is i do remember before the strip going and making the cache or the the loud uh space on my phone for it to save these files to I, I put it up really high like 10 gigs or something right on my phone so that it wouldn't because it was full already right so this is not that it can't be it's full because then look this next file it's there this is me trying to land it uh or trying to catch it right I told crystal uh to catch it as i was really struggling to get it on the boat because here's what happens if you don't know uh the struggles or the challenges that come from taking off from a moving boat uh basically the drone doesn't zero out it doesn't know what standing still is right if the mode if the boat is slightly moving when you've fired up when you first like turn it on then it zeroes out at whatever speed the boat is doing if it's like swaying a little bit backwards and or forwards or whatever direction it thinks that is zero and so whenever you let it hover it doesn't hover still because it doesn't know what still is it actually mimics whatever the boat was doing at that instant when you first turned it on and so it's really hard to, to uh actually um catch it this one wasn't so bad the mavic pro the day after that was really bad <laughs> the i really couldn't make it still and, and just trying to catch it it was a crazy so here we go here's another um another shot where i was trying to do some passes by right because i i always knew that those shots might look good uh there's this, this image is a little bit overexposed um again it's really hard to see i think i might have to get the goggles to be able to 
uh, do that. And so there was a lot of the stuff that I wasn't able to get, and that was the problem number one, right? If if the drone goes out, then I don't have a backup. Here, this next scene, it's there's a different problem, right? It's the middle of nowhere, literally the middle of nowhere. Look at that, like it's it's the desert, and you see how that the left side just froze. The reason why that happened is because I lost connection. So the drone's connection to the controller then goes to my phone. It stopped so that I, I didn't know what the drone was doing, right? And so I was trying to, like, you know, get it so that I can, get, you know, position it in a place where I could have, a, you know, the car going because I wanted to get a shot of us driving through the middle of the desert, Baja California. It's like, you know, it's way out there off the grid and stuff. There's nothing here. I don't know why this uh, was having so much trouble connecting. I mean, look at that. You, you see, like, every time it, it like, jumps ahead, it's because it lagged behind and then eventually just ca caught up. And, and then eventually there's a whole, like, expanses or there's whole times where there was no video there you know what i mean like the one on the the file on my on my phone was a lot smaller or uh, shorter than the one on the sd card and so what i did i just separated and then i synced everything and then there was like just chunks missing and those are the chunks that are the drone was just not connected i had no way to monitor what was happening and as you see here this is like live you know like real time almost i didn't include all the clips here because this would be like a really long video but this is this clip at the very least is it's real time i was just trying to put the drone up there uh in a place that was like the image looked pleasing or whatever and then i was gonna go in the car and then just pass through the thing and maybe i was gonna like you know pan up or something i don't like i don't know i was gonna just do like a simple shot it just took like i think i wasted like 20 minutes there at the side of the road just trying to figure out how to position it because then i would lose the connection and i would know where it's at like and there was like a long time where i didn't know where the drone was at I mean, this, this, the mavic air is really small and it's it's really fast on sport mode it goes really fast and it just I just got it really far away from from me and I couldn't really see it so because I didn't have a way to I didn't have data and I didn't have basically I didn't have anything coming back from the drone I couldn't tell where it was at and so I was just flying blindly for a long time just trying to see if I could see it or I could hear it and eventually I could hear it so I knew that it was close and so it just took a long time to do this and this is out there in the desert that i don't know why there was interference out there you wouldn't expect interference in a place that's well desolate that it's really off the grid there was no internet connection here and so can, you can imagine in a um you know populated area sort of here like in southern california or new york or in some other place it's really gonna have a tough time and i actually experienced that the first time that i flew my drone was here around my house when i was trying to follow myself on the model 3 on a tesla model 3 that was going to do a review and stuff and it was so tough because the image would just freeze and eventually it would like jump ahead and then by the time i jump ahead the drone was not anywhere where i wanted to be i had overshot you know what i mean like or the car had like already passed it was really, really challenging. I thought, oh, maybe it's just me. This is the first time. But as it turns out, the problem is real. Now, there are a lot of pros with the Mavic Pro or the Mavic Air, I mean, uh, as opposed to the Mavic Pro. Uh, the image quality is a lot better, right? It's a 400 megabits. Um, so there's there's less compression. And so that's really apparent really quickly. Uh, it's smaller, lighter, faster um it's noisier that's not a good thing because uh the mavic pro with the quiet blades and the outdated thing escs or whatever that is really good and you want to be quiet here this is a scene where i actually just stopped omitted the the uh the image from my phone right so this is just the card right there 
And I I managed to get, you know, that wasn't our car, but I thought, you know what? I'm just going to follow a, a car. Uh, who cares? I'm, I'm in a rental. It's not like our car is uh recognizable right so i'll just i'll just put use this in an edit and be like oh this is us you know uh going on the road and then i stopped and so there are a lot of good things about this little drone i i just think it's not that useful with this because of this why wi enhanced wi-fi it's not it's not very robust and i i don't know i don't know i think i'm gonna keep it as a backup but I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to use my Mavic Pro since I recently fixed it. Uh, although I did have some problems with that one too. With the whole thing that it just... It, all of a sudden it just went out of focus for no reason while it was flying. And I couldn't get it to focus. You know, I don't, in, the, in DJI in their wisdom. It's like, let's give them the ability to shoot stuff out of focus. Because, you know, we were getting... Too many in-focus shots with the previous iterations of these drones. Yeah, I I don't know anybody that actually uses the the ability to shoot out of focus in these drones. We're all shooting aerials. They were never. I don't know. It's just so they need to fix that. Hopefully, in the next version of the Mavic Pro, they're gonna fix that so that we don't have to worry about making sure that it's focused. Sort of like in the Mavic Air, but so basically, we just need the Mavic Air uh, with the quiet blades and the uh, the better connection, right? Not this enhanced Wi-Fi because this this doesn't work. And after that, that would be the perfect drone. Um, and so for I think right now, I probably am going to end up getting. We're waiting around to see what the next Mavic Pro is. And hopefully that's going to be awesome. And I'm going to be able to get the drone that it's really, really use, uh, usable. And then next year, hopefully the Mavic Air has all this stuff fixed. And then we can go back to the Mavic Air. As of right now, I think I'm going to keep it as a backup, like I said. And then that's it. All right. So this is just a video to show you in, in the real world, like what it is to try and fly <laughs> this drone and uh, the challenges that you get. So hopefully somebody, uh, if you're listening and watching this, you find it useful and we'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye. By the way, guys, remember that little mini documentary that was done by Vice's uh, motherboard channel here on YouTube? It was about me and all the renewable stuff that we're doing and everything that this channel is about batteries and electric cars and stuff. It's, it was nominated for a Webby Award. If you want to help it uh, win, we have tough competitions like PBS, BBC, the, the Planet Earth channel or something. That's what we're up, right? So we're currently number three as last that I heard. If you want to help me make it number one, maybe I'm even invited to the Webbies. How cool would that be? You can uh, help me by uh, voting here. I have a link here and then also in the description, I'm gonna include a link so that you can vote and hopefully make it number one. All right, guys, thank you for all your support. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.